Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody's trying to interlock these two letters. They sent me this and they sent me one of these copies. So I made a copy of it so I could look at it later. I'm gonna make another duplicate of it, put it here. Then I'm gonna make another duplicate and put it here in case I mess it up. There are several ways to do this, but probably the best and the easiest is just left click, right click. Now I'm gonna go up here and make them all a hairline. Now, if we look, I think my example is perfect. Uh, this is a hard letter because of the fact that the, the top part of the H is really too big for the inner part of the R, but it can be done. So I'm gonna group this together, Control G, and I'm gonna group this together and Control G. And then I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna kind of put it where I think it might be, kind of even it between the, and if you can't get it perfect, uh, use your nudge key and just kind of put it in the center of that. Now, if we look at, I'm gonna bring my original in. I put a blue background so you could see that there are some parts that are uh, transparent. And we're just gonna kind of mimic this. And because it's in a hairline, we want the H to kind of take over this part and be on top. So I'm gonna get my virtual segment delete key. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and swipe through there. That way the, the Alt key helps you um, keep a straight line. So now we're gonna get the virtual segment delete key again, holding down the Alt key and just help you draw a straight line. And also whatever it touches, it should erase. For some reason that's not we're operating perfectly. So we've got that. Now we need to do it to the top. And of course, I've got an example to go through. I, had, I made a few mistakes in the original. So there's our H. Now our H is behind this part of the R. So we want to delete all these lines. So I don't even have to hold down the Alt key to do that. And when we, fill, when we fill it in, you'll see better idea what's going on. And you can always fill in and uh, back up, just kind of see what it looks like. So there's that. Um, the H uh, will stop right there because this one's going to be black. But we need to go through here virtual segment delete key and holding down the alt key because that's going to be the uh, part of the art. Now the inside's a little bit harder. Um, this is all part of the, the R. So we're going to take our holding down the alt key and see you can actually even go up and this is part of the R. And like I said, even after you fill it in, we'll be able to adjust this. See, this is what I don't like where the eye is up there. And I think I'm, well, there's one little double line right here. And actually the H is in front. So we're just going to delete that line. And you could, I could have moved it around and made it better. So we're going to get our smart fill tool. It's already set on that color, but all I did was go to the eyedropper tool and grab an eyedropper color of it. And there's, that looks pretty good. I think we got it all. We're gonna grab the eyedropper tool. I'm gonna do the black first, and I'm gonna go on the outside and do all the black. Now see, that's actually gonna be black there. That's gonna be um, intersected. I need one more purple. I missed it, so I'm gonna take a sample and take right there and right there. Now we're gonna go get the last color, interactive fill tool, or excuse me, the uh, eyedropper tool. And we're gonna fill in all the whites. And you need to go there and there and there. And mm, you know what, I shouldn't have. So what, what's, good, what's good about this, you could just take your pick tool. If you filled one in that shouldn't be filled in, you could just delete it.
So that line is going to need to be yellow here. There we go. And yellow here. I think that's pretty close to the original picture. I would maybe play around with the eye and make it not quite so big right here. And if we look at it, if we if we go here now and take away the outline by right clicking, it'll be a little bit better. And then we'll put it on a like a light blue t-shirt, arrange, order, back a page. And that's the way it's gonna look. I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.